time is relative, in fact everything is, we could never compare two things with each other if we didn't have a pattern with which to do it, logic just wouldn't exist. You are tall or low, fat or skinny in relation to another. Time then, could not be otherwise, but relative. How does time pass? Basically in every way possible, linear for us, which is how we perceive it. It would be a mess of a thousand demons to get up a lunus without having lived on Sunday and to find out what you did on Sunday after you got up on a Thursday. This could be different for someone who lived all his days at once, but this still has nothing to do with the film, which I will recommend so that you can see it, for example on a Saturday after dinner, a very conducive day. Don't worry, I won't tell you anything about this movie so I don't spoil. But if I want to highlight something about this movie, and it is the science behind it, although no one refers to this at any point in the film, I will tell you that what happens in it could be possible if the gravity that influences each part of it was different, albeit with the most modern physique, this would be a real nonsense. We remain as important to her, emphasizing that it is an imaginative fiction, carried out, with not much budget and few special effects that would make her more important, also with reflection results on almost eternity by a slowdown of time, and a magical source of eternal youth, and abracadabra, difficult to understand, for someone who wants to be taken seriously, you have a link in the description, which can help you, if, 